Hey, this is Chris with another episode of Airgun Boot Camp. Today we're going to be talking about cleaning and cleaning supplies on both spring guns, uh, PCPs, and really any other air gun that you have. This will generally apply. So this right here is a fine work bow sport and we're going to show the products that you can use to clean the barrel. So the first one being uh, a dewy rod right here. This is a straight rod that has protective layer around it so it doesn't scratch your barrel or anything. We always want to clean in the direction the pellet fires, right? So I don't want to be pulling this way against where the pellet is going. I want to be going down the barrel like this, the way the pellet exits. The second way to clean other than a dewy rod is going to be something like a, a pull through. So this one here is a Napier pull through. I also have some patch worms right here, one for the 177 and one that goes from 20 to 12 gauge. The Napier has a handle, which is a really, really nice design and I like it a lot, helps for pulling. You'll thread it through your barrel. It'll come up like this and then you'll put your patch on here and then you will pull this way down the barrel. Now, when we're using our patches, it doesn't matter which one we're using, the Dewey rod or the Napier or the patchworm, uh, you usually want to use some solvent on it. We have two types of solvent here. Um, and the most important part about what you put on your patch is that it is non-petroleum based. You don't want to use any petroleum based products when you're cleaning your barrel. Unlike a firearm, there's no carbon buildup in here. So we want to use nice and gentle cleaners because there's not much in there other than just lead, right? So we won't want to harm that barrel. Now I'm going to show you how to use the Dewey rod on a brake barrel. So I have a little cleaning uh, vise right here uh, that works well. So what you're going to do, number one, always make sure that the air gun is unloaded. So we're going to check for that first. Look down the barrel. It is. And with these brake barrels, you usually want to have a grip on this when you're cleaning. Um, so I have this on safety and for video purposes, I'm going to be letting go of this barrel. But as you can see, we're good. The gun is on safety. The first thing I'm going to do is get one of my patches. These are the Dewey patches, 177. I'll take one of those. These come as just a little square. Other ones are circle. Doesn't matter. Take some of the AOA cleaner degreaser and just a little drop of that. And then I'm going to grab the Dewey rod and it comes with this point right here. So what you're going to do with that is you'll put it through the center center of the patch, just like that. So we'll put it in here, we'll get a hand on this, and we're just gonna push, and nice and slow, steady, and then it's gonna pop out, right? And then we'll take that patch off, come back. Now, you can see we got quite a bit of lead residue right here. So this is what we're cleaning. Now, I'm gonna run a few more patches through until this has no more dirt on it. Okay, and this one, there is virtually nothing on there, so I'm ready to go with dry patches now. You always want to start with using some cleaner degreaser and end with dry. You don't want to keep that in that barrel. So a couple dry patches now. Now this last one feels nice and dry. Feels like all the solvent is out of the barrel. Now we are good to go and we're officially clean. So we can get back to shooting this gun. So I'll decock this one. And there you go. That is how you can use a Dewey rod to clean a spring gun. Okay, now we're gonna use a, what's called a pull through uh, to clean this PCP. So right here, I have the Napier pull through with that handle that I was talking about. It's a really great product. So along with that spring gun, number one rule, always make sure that this is unloaded. Okay, so we're gonna go in from the front of the gun Push it all the way. Then you will see this come out the other side. So we'll grab that lasso. We'll grab a patch. And these are the ones that come with the Napier kit. We're gonna get some of the cleaner degreaser. Put it on there. Now with these ones, you just go through here 
and then it'll fold over itself like that. So you're gonna be pulling it that way and it's gonna clean all this right here. So what you'll do is get it kind of primed right there. And then all we're gonna do is hold this and pull through, all right? Nice and slow. You can see our first pass through, we had quite a bit of lead on there. So we're just gonna continue doing this until you cannot see these black lead streaks. Those are looking pretty good. I'm gonna now run some dry patches through to clean out all that cleaner degreaser. Perfect. So now these are completely dry. There's no more moisture in this barrel and they're nice and clean, no lead on them. So I'm saying we're good to go. And uh, this is a nice clean barrel. And if you already have a rod at home, you can use this on PCPs. Obviously you can't go in this way, right? So this tip will not work. There is a separate tip that has a oval shape where you can put your patch just like a lasso, then you can do the same thing. You can go in from this way, put the patch on and pull the correct way out. So you can use a dewy rod on these as well. So when you're cleaning, don't overclean. You do not need to clean every time you go shoot. It's not like a firearm. The carbon buildup is not there, there is none. So you can overclean your gun. The only time I like to clean my air guns is when I see accuracy issues. If it's still shooting good, don't touch it. There's no need, right? If you start seeing flyers, you know, one here, one there, okay, maybe throw uh, some patches through, give it a nice clean, and then go back to it. That can help quite a bit. So thanks for watching. Be sure to comment below on videos you'd like to see.